Hey guys, so I wanted to show you the inside of our fridge and sort of how I organize things. Um, to give you guys a few stats on our fridge, because I am seriously in love with it. Um, it is a Whirlpool Gold, and we got this from Lowe's in um, 2011. It was a Black Friday deal. So this is originally a $3,000 fridge, and we ended up getting it for... $1,400. So it was a really good deal when all was said and done. Okay, on to the main part of the tour, how I organize the fridge. So I'm going to just go ahead and start with the freezer. Um, we have a pull art freezer and I love this. This is one of the reasons that I bought it. And I'll just like stack up freezer dinners and bag stuff in this side. And a lot of times what I do to save space and organize is I'll take things and put them into freezer um, safe Ziploc bags like these Tostitos and then just cut out the directions and put them inside so that way um, they're easy to access and they don't take up a whole bunch of bulk. So then back here I just have like meatballs and some other freezer vegetables. So that's kind of like the bagged dinners and freezer vegetables side. And then this side is where I keep all of my freezer dinners. So I am really, really big on these. I take these to work all the time. Um, so anyway, there we go. I keep all the box stuff here. So bag stuff here, box stuff here. I feel like it works better. Down here is where I keep frozen meat. These are all chickens. I wait till these are buy two, get three free. And pies, you know, pie crust and that sort of thing. Um, frozen cheeses, because I buy those in bulk with coupons, as well as like potatoes and that sort of thing. And then, this is not what you're supposed to do, but I do it anyway. Do you guys see this like little divot here? You can actually store stuff in there, so it gives you extra space. So I kind of like shove these Sister Sherbert rolls like that, so they have more space. Um, and then in the bottom here is where I keep more boxed foods. Clearly there was a really good special with coupon, so that's why I'm kind of stocked up here. So I just line them up so I can see what's inside. We keep our pizzas flat against the top part. And then here again, I've taken things and put them into baggies. So these are um, pretzels, and I've done that with some fish sticks, some <laughs> fun drinks. Cool Whip. I eat my Cool Whip frozen, like ice cream. It's yummy. Um, freezer stuff down there, some meat. Um, so as you can see, that kind of helps us save space. Um, through how we organize that. So that is the freezer. And now moving on to the fridge. So I'll start you guys off with the side drawers here. Another reason I love this fridge so much is it has these little hooks so you can adjust where you're putting the shelf for height. Um, and I keep condiments in this top part. Here are extra condiments, especially like tall fat ones fit really well up here. Some more down here, and then pickles, because we love pickles. And I always label things like pasta sauce. This is when it expires, and then this is when we opened it, so I remember, and you know we can use the rest of it later. But as a couponer, I do not go through and label all of the shelves, because if I did that, you know, as you get coupon things and things that come into your freezer in bulk, like classic pickles, um, it wouldn't really make sense to... Um, label it because things have to change up so much to accommodate what you purchase. Okay, so on to the main section of the fridge. These are all adjustable shelves. So up here I keep like lettuce and bread and like cottage cheese, Cool Whip, yogurt we get a lot of coupons on. And I try to stack them tall and straight back. There are some rolls back there. I usually do keep these types of drinks and stuff. No, we don't have kids. Yes, yeah, so my husband just like loves Capri Sun. Um, we just keep them in the boxes because I just find it helps them to stay organized. Eggs. Um, again, these were on sale, so I bought a bunch of these. Um, tomatoes, cream cheeses back here. I usually keep um, foods that like leftovers and stuff in these bins, and then I just stack them tall because this is the biggest section of the freezer. Um, Okay, these are um, our Coca-Colas. We, again, keep them in the boxes because it's easier to access. We keep breads in the freezer when we coupon, um, you know, things that we use frequently down here for easy access, and then drinks go straight back. Um, in here, I do keep fruits and vegetables, and you can set the um, 
humidity control on it, which is nice. I got this from the Goodwill, actually, for 99 cents. It's a really, really high quality bin. It's a Sterilite bin, um, and I think it's originally used for CDs and stuff, but I use it to keep carrots and munchies, or like things that are bagged, like pre-bagged, I'll put in here, um, you know, for easy grabbing and stuff. And I have, you know, vegetables and stuff in here. And I try to space them out so I can see what I have because there's nothing worse than having something buried and then you don't know where it is. And these power meals, these are really good. It's on clearance. I'm going to have that for lunch today. In the meat drawer, ours is extremely full right now because I've been couponing. I will freeze these before they expire, but it was buy two, get three free, I think. So I stocked up. But we do keep all of our meat in here and then kind of as it's getting close to expiration date, we'll put it in the freezer if there's no room. These were also buy two, get three free. So I stocked up on lunch meat. That's mostly how we buy our lunch meat. Um, and for this, I mean, I usually try to keep things like separated and stuff like that. But because we have so much stuff in here, it's just a matter of like packing it efficiently, almost like a puzzle. So. And then last but not least, we have our ice bin. And then we also have our dressing section. I keep all dressings here. Actually, this should be up here. Um, I keep all dressings here and then butters and like extra little things that I don't know where to put go there. So that is more or less how I organize our fridge. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.